Let me play with you. What's going on guys, it's Flame SZ here, and today we're reacting to some more gameplay of Jump Force. Now this is Japanese, um, I believe from a Japanese game show, and these two girls are actually playing, and as you can see, we see Deku. And seeing Deku, I watched this, and um, they actually just showed them doing a couple things, but then I was surprised to see Sanji right here, as you guys can see right here. Sanji, that was the only time they showed them, and, but... I'm gonna get to Sanji in a little bit. Uh, it's still Deku. It's not really much in um the quali quality or quality or something like that because it's really bad. You can barely see it, but at the same time you can see it. So yeah, Corruptica. This actually my first time seeing him actually in action, so it's actually interesting. I do not know Corruptica move names and stuff like that because I haven't watched Hunter X Hunter. Um, not I've watched some of it, but I haven't really watched it to the point to know everybody stuff. Ooh, that's for the future. Trunks got for the future. Hold up, that's the only time they show Trunks as well. That's actually saddening. And I didn't want to talk over these guys, but they talk in Japanese, so I don't understand what they're saying. And I got to kind of low for you guys to not be too annoyed with me talking while they're talking. But on that note, that's all they show for Karapika and Trunks, Deku, and Sanji. So, I was just wondering about this when they show Sanji. I think it's the end right here, yeah. It's the end. So, I love the sound in there for you guys to hear the voices. And I heard that this voice, it's a rumor, that the voices in the character is going to be English as well as Japanese. But I'm not sure about that. It's a rumor, guys. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked into it, but I like the fact they showed Deku. I can't say exactly what his moves did, but I believe it's what you really would think Deku would have. Now, when they showed Sanji, which was actually interesting, was right here. He did Diablo Jumbo, I think, yeah. And as you guys see right there, he's going to be doing air combos. Like I said, he's going to be one of the one characters that can knock you in the air and do a full combo into a super. Therefore, it's going to make him actually interesting to play. But I know, of course, against females, he is going to suck. But that's Sanji for you. But everybody else, you like I said, you can just switch out of Sanji. I said this in my last video when talking about this, and it's all good. Now, Karapika, he looked like he's going to be just overall overpowered with his range and his attacks. And Trunks, I wish they showed more about Trunks, but they did show um, he got for the future. Uh, they might show this right here, yeah. He powered up, that's burning attack. Okay, we know he had that, but he had for the future. And that's something I didn't expect. This dude literally charged at you. And boom, what he did to Android 18 in his future. So yeah, guys, that's all this show for now. Um, like I said, they're showing a lot of teasers and look trailers instead of just full trailers of these characters. So we may see more gameplay of these here and there. And it's still being more videos I'm seeing pop up saying Madaka Kurikami is confirmed, confirmed. And then I'm like, okay. I'm not going to believe it until I see it. So thank you guys for um, watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. Also, go check out my Resident Evil videos. And I will be uploading Fairy Tale Episode 16 reviews today. So, Brittany Heath say Smoking Hot Slam at Z. Peace. And I'll catch you guys later.